Fourth Saturn 1B launch vehicle, AS-204, is presently scheduled for launch early in the next quarter. At the end of the quarter, the flight readiness test had been successfully completed. The flight designation of AS-204 is Apollo 5 AS-204 LM-1. In addition to serving as an Apollo Saturn development flight, Apollo 5 will also be the final flight to carry launch vehicle R and D instrumentation in the Saturn 1B program. All remaining Saturn 1B stages are on or ahead of schedule. Booster status is as follows. S1B5 is presently undergoing post-storage modifications. Checkout is expected to start in early January 1968, and shipment will meet the KSC need date. S1B6 was removed from storage during this quarter, and post-storage modifications were completed in mid-November. At the end of the quarter, post-storage checkout tests were completed, and the stage is scheduled to be delivered to KSC next quarter. A successful flight of Apollo 5 could cause the AS-206 LM-2 mission to be canceled. S-1B-7 was removed from storage in late December, and the stage contractor directed to start modification using the most economical production plan consistent with the relatively long lead time delivery requirement. S-1B-8, 9, and 10 stages were in storage at Chrysler Mashu during and at the end of the quarter. On October 20th, the S-1B-11 stage left Mashu on the barge Palemon en route to Marshall Space Flight Center for static firing tests. The stage was offloaded at Marshall on October 30th and transported to the static test tower. The stage was erected in the test stand on November 2nd. Additional testing, which will provide increased confidence prior to the first manned flight, will be conducted on S-1B-11 to determine dampening characteristics of the clustered S-1B-H-1 engine combination. Termed engine bomb tests, this program will consist of five 15-second firings after the initial short-duration static test. During the five firings, combustion instability will be induced in two R&D test engines installed on the stage for these tests and the dampening characteristics recorded and analyzed. Original testing schedules were delayed to permit study and instrumentation additions, which will provide data to be used as baselines for the engine bomb test program. This baseline data was obtained during the first short duration static test of S-1B-11 conducted successfully on December 19, 1967. Final assembly of S-1B-12 was completed early in this quarter and the stage checkout was completed December 21st. While the stage is currently scheduled for shipment in early January to Marshall Space Flight Center for static firing, delay in shipment is anticipated due to the engine bomb test program, whittled for completion by the end of February 1968. Final full duration firing of S-111 is presently scheduled for March 1968. However, this delay will not adversely affect the overall stage delivery requirements. Part and component fabrication for S-1B 13 through 16 continued throughout the quarter. In addition, Minor subassembly of S-1B-13 was in progress. The status of the second or S-4B stages of the Saturn 1B are as follows. The S-4B-205 stage was in modification during the quarter. S-4B-206 modifications were completed during the last part of the quarter, and it is presently in post-storage checkout. Shipment to KSC is scheduled for next quarter. S-4B stages 207 through 212 are in storage. S-4B 212 assembly was completed and the stage was placed in storage at Huntington Beach during this quarter. 
Saturn 1B instrument unit status and progress is as follows. IU-205, after being scheduled for storage, was retained in the modification program, and work continued on an extended schedule. Modifications on IU-206, taken out of storage at the end of the previous quarter, have been completed, and the stage was in post-storage checkout at the end of this quarter. IU stages 207 and 208 are in storage. IU-209 was completed during the quarter, accepted, and placed in storage at IBM. IU-210 manufacture and assembly is approximately 90% complete. However, since final flight configuration has not been determined, no work has been accomplished since the middle of the quarter, and the unit has been temporarily placed in storage. SIU-211 structural assembly was completed this quarter, and the IU was placed in temporary storage. Component parts for instrument unit 212 are currently being received. During this quarter, a storage system based on previous studies and research by several Marshall Center offices was finalized. Basically, this plan calls for a large tent-like enclosure of flame-retardant synthetic materials suspended from roof structures over the vehicle and sealed at the bottom with weights or sandbags. A small commercial type air conditioning unit will be used to maintain humidity within the enclosure at less than 40% relative humidity with temperature normally at 85 degrees. The cost of such a storage system is estimated to be very economical in both initial equipment required and in operational costs. Testing of the equipment and system performance will be made during the next quarter utilizing a Saturn ground test stage. Astronauts Shira, Dukes, Rusa, Young, Isley, and Cunningham, members of the first manned flight crew of the Saturn 1B, made working tours of the IBM Huntsville facility and Marshall Space Flight Center during early October. At IBM, these astronauts received intensive briefings on AS-205 mission hardware and inspected SIU-205. At MSFC, the astronauts visited the Apollo Access Arm Test Area. President Lyndon B. Johnson visited the Michu Assembly Facility December 12th. Accompanying the President on his tour were the Governor of Louisiana, John J. McKeithen, NASA Administrator and Mrs. James E. Webb, and other NASA personnel. The President toured the Saturn 1B and Saturn V First Stages Assembly Area. Activity on the orbital workshop aspects of the S-4B during the quarter were primarily directed to modification of the workshop mock-up, which was returned to McDonnell Douglas late last quarter. Reworking of the full-scale mock-up will result in a two-level floor configuration. Following completion of rework, the mock-up will be returned early next quarter to MSFC for further design evaluation. At the end of this quarter, the major aspect of the Saturn 1B program is the launch of AS-204, presently scheduled for mid-January 1968. AS-204, the final R&D vehicle in the Saturn 1B program, will carry over 1,200 telemetry measurements of the launch vehicle itself. In addition to final 1B development aspects, the overall flight, which will be designated Apollo 5 AS-204 LM-1, will be a direct Apollo-Saturn development flight. General objectives of the overall flight will be to verify operation of the lunar module ascent and descent propulsion subsystems, including descent propulsion system restart, evaluation of the lunar module structure, lunar module staging, and S-4B IU orbital performance. Detailed launch vehicle primary objectives will be evaluation of the launch vehicle altitude control system and maneuvering capability, verification of the S-4B liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen tank pressure rise rate, demonstration of nose cone separation from S-4B IU SLA, and evaluation of operational adequacy of the launch vehicle systems, including guidance, control, electrical, mechanical, and instrumentation. Secondary launch vehicle objectives will be evaluation of S-4B forward skirt in-flight panel flutter, 
J2 engine crossover duct temperature, S4B propellant dump experiment, and launch vehicle orbital coast lifetime capability. All of the objectives, both primary and secondary, are vital and directly related to future Saturn V launches and the lunar landing mission program. Thank you.